Good morning, my crafty friends. We are back in the kitchen today. We are going to be making a filling, healthy, satisfying breakfast. Now, I know what some people may be saying. It's July. Why are we cooking oatmeal? I'm cooking oatmeal because it's filling. It holds me over this particular recipe holds me over for hours. So I I feel like I eat less because I'm full for a very long time. So this is actually a recipe. It's called peanut butter and jelly baked oatmeal. My oven's heated now, ready to, for the, me to stick the dish in the oven. So what I wanted to show is the ingredients. So we've got actually here, we've got um, peanut butter. A half a banana is already mashed up in the dish. I've got the other half in a dish. You can freeze bananas. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick the, um, I'm going to stick the banana in the freezer and use it next time. So this recipe is, it actually, um, this makes one serving. Sorry. This recipe makes one serving. Um, so it's a quarter cup of oats, a half a cup of water, peanut butter. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of either almond butter or peanut butter. The recipe actually calls for the all the natural peanut butter, which is um, just peanut butter. It doesn't have any sugar in it. Um, however, if you don't use almond butter or that natural peanut butter fast enough it it does tend to go rancid fairly quickly um i already used the almond butter that i had so i'm just using peanut butter i know it has added sugar in it um really not part of the recipe however um it's expensive i'm the only one that eats it so i don't buy it very often a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Not exactly sure what this does for the recipe, um, but I always do make sure to add it. Um, it also calls for a teaspoon of pure maple syrup. However, I actually use raw honey. Um, it's just it's for the natural sweetener and I think part of it is probably because the peanut butter doesn't have isn't supposed to have any um, added sugar in it. But regardless of whether or not I use regular peanut butter or if I use almond butter or natural peanut butter, I still usually do add either the maple syrup or the honey into the recipe just to give it a little extra sweetness. Um, it also calls for a quarter teaspoon, or I'm sorry, a pinch of sea salt. Um, how I have the grinder. that's broken. That's not helpful. Okay, we're going to forego it because my grinder thing does not seem to be working. Um, but so the recipe is a quarter, quarter cup of the oats, half a cup of, I use a half a cup of water, um, a half a banana, two tablespoons of peanut butter, take a teaspoon of maple syrup or honey, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, I actually don't have vanilla, um, but I do have this orange extract and I'm going to use the orange extract because, um, you know, it's got bananas in it. 
I'm going to put, I'm going to, after it bakes, I'm going to top it with strawberries. So I'm going to have a strawberry orange banana uh, with peanut butter. Breakfast. Like all of these fruits go really well with peanut butter. So why not, right? Use what you got. The quarter teaspoon of baking soda and the, um, a little pinch of sea salt, which is optional anyway. So you're going to um, put it in an oven safe dish. You know, it's, it's kind of soupy, but wait until you see it when it comes out of the oven. So it goes in 350 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes. And we'll be back when I, pull it, when I pull it out of the oven and I'll show you what it looks like. In the meantime, I'm also going to get my strawberries ready um, and show you what it looks like in a minute. Okay, so here we are back. Uh, it has been about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more for me for you it will be seamless by the time this is over with but here this is what it's looking like i know i have to clean my oven out so this is what it looks like And then what I've actually done is I took some fresh strawberries and I added um, one. I added one packet of stevia. I just popped it in the microwave for about a minute um, until they were able to be squished up um, into kind of mushy. And then that's that. And then I also like to take, just for a little bit of added sweetness, a few chocolate chips. This little cup, I think, is uh, two tablespoons. Um, it's actually one from the um, portion fix from Beachbody, but it, it's a good size. It's a good way for me to measure what I've got, so I use it for a lot um but there we go that's that's called peanut butter and jelly baked oatmeal and this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven if you like your oatmeal a little bit thicker you can always use a little bit less water um if you like it to be a little bit thinner you know feel free to add a little bit more but what I will actually do for you is in the description box, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write the recipe out so that you have it, um, you know, other than me just telling you what the ingredients are. I'm going to um, I'm going to type it out into the description box and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, please let me know if you try this recipe. Let me know if you like it. It's not my recipe. It is a recipe that I got from um, the portion fix from Beachbody. However, I made a few tweaks and changes to it. Um, just more of my preference. Like the original recipe she calls for using coconut milk, but I find that water is um i just use water so it's not my recipe i'm going to share with you guys um my changes and modifications if you're a beach body member um you know then you would be able to find the original recipe posted on um you know on the on the portion fix it's one of autumn's recipes but um because i made a bunch of changes I, I think that should make it okay to share. Um, but uh, yeah, please let me know if you try this recipe and if you like it. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. There will definitely be more food recipes coming your way. In addition, I've got more craft projects that we're going to be working on too. So lots more to come. So please subscribe to Angela Shows You. We've got lots coming for you in the future. Take care. Have a good day.